Hey guys, this is Dean with Taking Action. Today I want to talk about Redmi 5 and Redmi 5 Plus again. I have people asking me what are the differences between the two, and there are more than you think. Uh, so I listed all the difference in specs and in design to help you make purchase decision. And I think I pretty much covered everything, so let's begin. First and most obvious, the display. The display on Redmi 5 is 5.7 inch, 720p, and 5.99 inch, 1080p on 5 Plus which means Redmi 5 has lower resolution and lower pixel density. By the time I was using the phone, it was difficult to tell the difference with naked eyes. But what you can tell is the color space. According to Xiaomi, Redmi 5 has 72% NTSC and 5 Plus has 84%, which means the screen on 5 Plus is more vivid and color accurate. Next, let's compare the performance. Snapdragon 450 processor on Redmi 5 is a slightly underclocked version of 625, runs at 1.8 GHz. It's around 500 score difference in and 2-2 benchmarks, which shouldn't be a big problem, depends on what you do. But what concerns me more is that Redmi 5 comes with only 3GB RAM. Smartphone apps nowadays come in larger sizes and more demanding on the RAM, so if you're a heavy phone user, I recommend you to go with 4GB RAM of Redmi 5 Plus. Battery-wise, Redmi 5 has 3300 mAh battery and 5 Plus has a much larger battery at 4000 mAh. But the downside of that is 5 Plus being noticeably thicker, which means Redmi 5 is more comfortable to hold and one-hand use friendly. In a previous video, I mentioned that Redmi 5 Plus is the first Redmi phone to support quick charge, and boy was I wrong. I checked with Xiaomi's customer service today and they confirmed that neither phone supports Qualcomm quick charge technology, so sorry about that. Moving on to the camera, the camera specs are actually exactly the same, but the flashlight isn't. A Redmi 5 comes with a monotone flashlight and on 5 Plus it's dual tone. So what does it mean? It means when using flashlight, 5 Plus can provide more natural and less pale image. Another difference I cannot ignore is the Wi-Fi. Redmi 5 does not support 5G Wi-Fi, which is a shame since 5G signal is quite common nowadays at home and in public. The last detail that is missing on Redmi 5 is the hot sensor. So what is this hot sensor? Well, it allows you to use the magnetic case to lock and unlock your phone. I don't think many people use this feature, correct me if I'm wrong, but for those of you who do, you will need 5 Plus to make it work. Or my suggestion is, unless you have very tiny hands and one hand operation is very important to you, or you have a very tight budget, other than that, go with Redmi 5 Plus. So which one would you buy? Redmi 5, 5 Plus, or neither? Let me know in the comment section. I'll see you next time.